It's me, it's me, it's Brandon T. Welcome to Painting with Magic's Tuesday Tips. And on this little tip video, I'm going to show you how to paint some birch trees. Now, I get a lot of questions on how to paint birch trees. Birch trees are a very beautiful tree and look good with almost any landscape. So it's a really good one to learn. I think that's a good one to show you on the tips. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a number three fan brush. It's already dirty from doing a previous lesson. But if yours is clean, don't worry about it. I'm going to take some ivory black. I'm using the Lucas 1862 oil colors. I'm going to take this to black paint. Ivory black. Okay, a lot of back and forth. Let's go over here. Now, evergreen trees, they grow in clumps. So we're going to paint three of them. We'll say here's a taller one here. It goes right down there. I'll kind of give a little bit of a wiggle to it. And then you'll have another little wiggle one right here. They grow in clumps, so... And we'll say there's another one. Those over here. And this one here will be a little bit more farther away. Just thinking of composition. And we'll just fill this in too at the, the base. Just filling it in. Maybe there's some land down here at the bottom. Okay, now the next thing you have to do is start to throw in some highlights. I'm going to use a little small knife, a little number five palette knife. And I start with the black tree first, and then I'm going to start throwing on the highlights. Take some titanium white. Get a nice little roll of paint around right the old edge of your old palette knife. Now I'm going to go on one side of it first, and I'm just going to touch it. Just touch it. Just let the paint just roll right off the palette knife. That easy. Don't worry about getting little wispies right now. We'll get those in a minute. Just touch it. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll go on all three sides of the trees. All three trees. And we'll just paint these in. Keeping your knife kind of really balanced. You want to kind of get it right on the edge. On all three. And this is how I do my birch trees. So, you may have a different little method after you start learning them, how to do them. But this is how I like to do birch trees, and I find it's the best way to do them. Okay, now that we got all three, has a little bit of white on it. I need to add a little bit more right there. I'm going to take a clean, dry fan brush. And this is also a number three. And I'm going to come in here, I'm going to grab this edge, just a little bit of it, and kind of give it a little bit of a pull. Okay, there's a couple different steps to doing your, your birch trees. But they're very beautiful tree, and you'll really like them a lot. Do it to all three trees. And then on this tree, here. Alrighty, okay. Now so far we have the one side of it, but I'm gonna go on both sides of the tree and add this white on the other side. So I'm gonna take the other side of the palette knife and get a little roll of paint on the other side of the knife. Okay, let's go on this side of the pad, the other trees. No pressure at all. Let this paint roll off the knife. These trees are very nice to do. They don't really take that much stuff. Now see what I'm doing here? I'm not using the fan brush. I'm actually taking this paint and I'm giving it a little bit of a pull. This is where you're going to get the details of the nice thick bark. See that? Oh, other one, I'll just let it tap on. This here, I'm letting it pull. I'm letting it pull on. Just like that. Let's get a little bit more white. And on this side of the tree of the tree. This is a very nice way to do your to do birch trees. I know they're really nice to do, very easy to do. You'll get a nice looking landscape if you add these to it. 
Okay, and we're just gonna let it kind of go up. And there you go. There's your so far. There's your birch tree. Now what you're going to need next is a number two script liner brush. And what we're going to do is I'm going to thin down some of this black paint with it. I'm using some turpenoid. I'm going to spin the brush in this. And we're going to start here and we're going to give it some wiggles and jiggles. And you don't have to do too many of these. Maybe if it's winter time then yeah you may leave some of these branches out. So you want to take your time on them a little bit more. Today I'm just kind of showing you the basic how to do it. And you can do as many of these as you want to do. Okay. But you don't want to go really low on these. It really these these branches are very tall. Okay, good. And on this one. Give it a few. And then we'll put some branches on top of these, some, some leaves, I guess you'd call it. So I'm really not really, I really don't care about what these look like that good, but I'm just going to show you that you want to basically have some. Some little things there, some little details. And this is a great way to get some practice in for limbs. Okay, that's good enough for right now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a one-inch primer brush. This is a Creative Mark primer brush. And this is already a dirty brush, but it is what I want to use. I'm going to take this dark color used for our other lesson, some uh, black and blue. We'll touch a laser and crimsons in that. And I'm really pounding this brush open. And let's go up here. Now this brush is very open. And let's go over here now to these trees. Now we're going to start right up here. And let it go loose. Let it go really loose. Now I'm constantly reloading because I really want to kind of keep this paint loosely opened. Look like the uh, birds can go through here and the wind can go right through it as well. And that's what's really going to sell your, your little birch trees or any of your paintings really. If you leave this stuff open it really looks more realistic and more three dimensional. It's got more life to it. Okay, and that's a good way to do it. More paint. Okay, you see how easy that is to do. And there you go, there's your dark part. Then I'm going to highlight this really quickly. I'm going to take another primer brush. I'm going to take some permanent yellow, titanium white, a little fast flow white. And I'm going to get a nice texture on this brush and put some highlights on it. Again, it's very open. And let's go back here again. And I'm just going to touch these here and there. I'm going to touch it. And then you can see it really gives it some life. You can see the dark, you can see the bright and yellows. And it's just a great looking little painting there. A nice way to do birch trees. So you, this is how you paint your little birch trees. You can do it with or without the nice little uh, little leaves. And I hope this helped you out. All the art supplies you see me use today can be found at Jerry's Artorama. And I hope the, you see me, hope to see you next Tuesday right here on Paint with Magic on Tuesday Tips. We'll see you next time.